what's going on guys welcome back it is getting close to april which means it's very close to georgia turkey season if you subscribe to my channel i'm sure you've heard me babble on about this 12 gauge 870 i went and put a red dot on it with the jeb's headhunter 650 turkey choke now i've got the jeb's headhunter turkey choke on my 20 gauge 870 so this year we're going to be seeing how it does on the 12 gauge I've got six different loads here um, that we're going to be patterning today. I haven't shot this gun uh, since I've restored it, much less uh, since I put the red dot on it. So I've got some bird shot here, uh, target loads that we're going to be shooting at about 15 yards to get it on and uh, make sure that we're not wasting any money when testing out these TSS loads. So I got everything set up. Like I said, we're going to be shooting at 15 yards with the target loads to get the red dot on, 30 yards and 50 yards with each of these loads here. So let's get at it. All right, we're set up right at 15 yards and uh, we've got a dot right in the center. So we've got a target load. We're going to see where she lands. So it's perfectly center, but it's a little bit high. So we're going to shoot it again at about 25 or 30. We'll shoot it again at 30 and uh, see how it looks. All right, so second round of bird shot, 30 yards. Uh, 15 yards look really good. So. See what she does. All right, so we are beautiful out at 30. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the turkey loads. So I'll get set up and uh, get after it. All right, so we're going to start off with nitro turkey number fives, just to make sure that uh, everything still looks good at 30 with the turkey load. Then we'll move on to bigger, better things. So. Nitro turkey, 30 yards. Whew, forgot how bad these things kick. Let's go check it out. Nitro turkey did pretty daggum good at 30. Can't really see, but we're gonna talk about all this stuff later. All right, so we got Winchester double X, 12 gauge, three inch, 1300 feet per second, one and three quarter ounce shot, number fives. And this is going to be at 30 yards. Mighty nose. So next up, we've got Winchester Longbeard XR, 12 gauge, three inch, 1200 feet per second, one and three quarter ounce load six ounce shot 30 yards i pulled the heck out of this one that was the uh long beard xr you see it's all the way up here to the top so we'll call that one good anyway all right so we got remington trying to get into the tss game uh, don't remember if they had these this last year or not, but uh, 12 gauge, 3 inch, 1200 feet per second, 1 and 3 quarter ounce shot, and number 9's at 30 yards. Didn't fire on the first tie. It's not very encouraging with that uh, misfire. All right, so we got the OG Federal TSS 12 gauge, three inch, 1200 feet per second, one and three quarter ounce, number nine shot. 30 yards with sore shoulder. Oh 
blaster. Let's see. So I'm gonna be honest. You know, I'm running the Jebs Headhunter 650 choke, and uh, I did not know that Jebs had teamed up with Rogue to come up with this load right here. So this is Rogue Ammunition's Jebs Signature Series stacked tungsten load. And this is obviously 12 gauge, three inch, two and a quarter ounce of eight and nine shot at 1190 feet per second. So if I had to guess that this one's gonna do really good at both 30 and 50, uh, especially out of that Jeb's headhunter choke. So let's see how she does at 30 yards. Mm. be so all right so uh we all know 50 yards is a poke you know it doesn't matter really what load you're shooting uh 50 yards is probably um you know outside of what you should shoot a turkey at we're doing this just for educational purposes we're gonna go ahead and stick this nitro turkey out there at 50 yards and uh go check her out so at 30 yards i was aiming you know somewhere between the beak and the wattle so uh at 50, we're going to aim right at the top of the head. Sheesh. Let's go see. So, last shot messed up on this uh, Winchester Double X. Uh, I shot, but I think I pulled. Um, and the camera wasn't on. So, we're reshooting that one. Even though uh, this is probably the kickingest rascal. I've ever shot in my life. So I guess that 1300 feet per second really shows. So here goes nothing. So we got Longbeard XR, 50 yards. All right, so 50 yards with Remington TSS. Them heavy boys. Remington shot a little high at 50, but uh, tell you what, they don't kick as bad as them lead loads, and uh, you don't have to hold up so high. It's really not a bad thing. So, Federal TSS, number nines. Let's see where she lands. Whew. All right, so we got our grand finale. It's going to be our Rogue and Jeb's collaboration with the eights and nines tungsten stacked. So, uh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Baby, baby, let's go see what we got. All right, so that was fun. Uh, I had some surprises in there um, I didn't think were gonna happen so I know I showed you during each shot uh, the results uh, preview anyway but I like to do a count on how many was in a 10 inch circle how many was on the bird and how many was in the vital zone so let's hurry up and get home and uh, get all this stuff tallied up all right so we got all this stuff counted up and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with the nitro turkey and we're going to end up with the rogue just like we did in the first part of the video but uh, what i'm going to do here is i'll start with the 30 yard and put up the front and the back of each target on the screen while we're talking about it I'll do the 30 and then the 50, move to the next load, 30, 50, so forth and so on. And at the end, we will come up with our consensus. Another thing I want to note is 
don't make fun of me for the way I use the tripod sled because I had tried it 15 different ways and I just couldn't get comfortable sitting on that cooler. So that was what worked best. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my glass shoulder bitching session. I uh, missed dove season this year, so uh, my shoulder was kind of weak. So let's get started. All right, so first up, we've got the Remington Nitro Turkey at 30 yards. This is a uh, number five shot, one and seven eighths ounce load, and three inch shell. You can see um, on the back side, I've got a 10 inch circle drawn on the page, and um, we've got 25 shots in the kill zone, 56 hits of the bird total, and 135 shots inside of the 10 inch circle and of the 319 total pellets in the shell we're putting 42 percent in that 10 inch circle at 30 yards so at 50 yards uh, you can see that uh, the remington nitro turkey definitely does not shine at that distance we've got six shots in the kill zone uh, which was kind of odd because we only had eight total hits on the bird 22 in the 10 inch circle and of the 319 total pellets in the shell, we had 7% inside the 10 inch circle. Next up, we've got a Winchester Double X. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, of all of these loads right here, that one right there kicks like a friggin' mule. Um, it is 1,300 feet per second, whereas everything else is about 1,200 feet per second. Don't know if that makes a real big difference, but it's only one and three quarter ounce load. And, uh, Man, I'm gonna tell you that thing, it kicks. So anyway, 30 yards, we actually looked pretty decent. Uh, we had 35 in the kill zone, 79 total hits of the bird, and 168 in the 10 inch circle. Uh, there's only 298 pellets in the shell. Of that 298, we had 56% inside the 10 inch circle at 30 yards. So that is pretty decent and at 50 yards um, I can see in the video where it basically just hit completely up under the target so what we're seeing here is the flyers up above the pattern but uh, we'll count it anyway uh, we had four in the kill zone 12 total hits of the bird 27 pellets inside the 10 inch circle and of the total 298 pellets we had nine percent inside the 10 inch circle at 50 yards all right, so next is the Winchester Longbeard XR. These are three inch, 1200 feet per second, one and three quarter ounce load and number six shot. This one, um, I definitely pulled it. I shot high and to the left, but I counted it anyway. Um, you know, at 30 yards, most of these are gonna do pretty good. We had 14 in the kill zone, 38 total hits of the bird, 107 in the 10 inch circle, and of the 394 total pellets, we had 27% in the 10 inch circle. Now, I'd say that's pretty dang good for me pulling as high and right as I did. So let's move on to 50. 50, uh, I would say that it did pretty decent. Uh, we had 16 in the kill zone, 39 hits of the bird, and 105 pellets inside the 10 inch circle. And of the 394 total pellets, we had 27% inside the 10 inch circle at 50 yards. So, pretty good. All right, so like I said earlier, um, did not know that Remington uh, made a TSS load. I don't remember seeing them last year. So I've had a bad taste in my mouth uh, from Remington rifle ammo in the past. And um, I had high hopes for these. Uh, you know, I thought that these would be uh, very comparable to other TSS that I've shot. But unfortunately, the first time pulling the trigger on one of these, I had a misfire. Uh, I was able to eject the shell, put it back in, and it fired the second time. I'm pretty confident that it was not my gun, especially since I just got done, you know, completely overhauling that gun. So, pretty disappointed in that. Um, these are 3 inch, 1200 feet per second, 1 and 3 quarter ounce load, and number 9 shot. At 30 yards, um, it actually looked pretty good. 
We had 43 in the kill zone, 102 total hits the bird, 247 in the 10 inch circle, and of the 634 pellets, we had 39% uh, inside the 10 inch circle. So 50, we had a considerable drop off. We had 14 in the kill zone, 33 total hits, 97 pellets in the 10 inch circle, and of the 634 pellets, we only had 15% inside the 10 inch circle. So next up is our champion from last year's 20 gauge shoot, the Federal TSS number nines. If you haven't, go back and watch my 20 gauge uh, Jeb's Head Hunter pattern video, and um, I did several different loads there too but the Federal TSS definitely come out on top of all of those. These are three inch, 1200 feet per second, one and three quarter ounce load and number nines. At 30 yards, we had 51 pellets in the kill zone, 127 total hits of the bird, 324 pellets inside the 10 inch circle. And of the 634 total pellets in the shell, we had 51% of those pellets inside this 10 inch circle at 30. So at 50 yards, we had 13 in the kill zone, 41 total hits of the bird, 106 inside the 10 inch circle. And of the 634 pellets, we had 17% of those pellets inside the 10 inch circle. I know I'm shooting six loads, but this is the one that I really wanted to see the results in. I'm a really big fan of the Jeb's Headhunter series chokes, and I think they do really well uh, with the right load. But I was really proud to see that Jeb's had teamed up with Rogue uh, to formulate a load for these chokes. So these are three inch, 1190 feet per second, two and a quarter ounce load, and they are eights and nines stacked. Now stacked meaning that the eights and nines are separated in the shell, not mixed together. So let's take a look and see how these did. All right, so 30 yards, we had 74 in the kill zone, 203 total hits of the bird, 395 inside the 10 inch circle. And of the 693 pellets, you had 57% of those pellets inside the 10 inch circle at 30. So all day, smack bird. You could probably say the same about the others at 30, but this is where she shines. 50 yards, we had 16 in the kill zone, 78 total hits of the bird, 193 pellets inside the 10 inch circle. Of the 693 pellets, we had 28% of those pellets inside the 10 inch circle at 50 yards. So that's pretty damn awesome. All right, so we are going to try to attempt to explain our consensus, but before we get started, I wanna explain that I'm going to draw a line right down the middle because we have three lead loads and three TSS loads. The reason I'm gonna do that is because of the drastic difference in pellet count between the lead and TSS, the TSS being much higher and almost double what the lead load is. So another reason I'm gonna do that is because some people may not be interested in spending that kind of money on TSS and you know that's their prerogative. So I think it'll be more beneficial to more people for me to split it up this way. So let's get started. So at 30 yards, our lead loads, we had uh, Remington Nitro was 42%, Winchester Double X was 56%, uh, the Longbeard XR was 27%. Now, I shot a little bit off high left on the Winchester Longbeard XR, so I honestly think that that would have outperformed the Double X. For argument's sake, we did have 56% of the pellets inside the 10 inch circle at 30 yards with the Winchester Double X. So that's gonna be our winner for 30 yards lead. 30 yards TSS, the Remington had 39%, the Federal had 51%, and the Rogue had 57%. Now one might say 57% uh, is not much higher than 51%. But if you consider the fact that 57% of 693 is 395 pellets, 
and 51% of 634 is 324 pellets. So you've got about a, about a 70 pellet difference between the two loads there. So Rogue is definitely our TSS winner at 30 yards. So moving on to our 50 yards, Remington Nitro and Winchester Double X were under 10% each, and the Winchester Longbeard XR had 27% and uh, which put 105 pellets on the 10 inch circle at 50 yards. So Longbeard XR is our lead winner at 50 yards. Now the TSS, which is what most of you are here for, at 50 yards, the Remington TSS had 15%, the Federal TSS had 17%, and the Rogue TSS had 28%. That 28% being 193 pellets inside the 10-inch circle at 50 yards is going to put Rogue our winner for 50 and 30 for TSS. So overall, um, you know, between lead and TSS, uh, the Rogue really just completely trashes the rest of these. And uh, I don't think after seeing these results that I'll be able to use uh, anything else in the turkey woods unless something else comes along and outperforms that but I don't see that happening anytime soon <sighs> again I'm terribly sorry for the long-winded conclusion here but um, I hope I was able to help some of you guys out uh, if you had to ask me that Jeb's head hunter choke is a bang-up choke and now that Jeb's has come out with uh, this collaboration with rogue ammunition with their signature series eights and nines stacked super shot load it's going to be real tough to um, have anybody match this now i'm going to try a couple of different loads later on there's a, a few different loads by apex that i want to try out obviously i'll do another video on that but anyway thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this uh big old long drawn out situation here and uh, i hope i help some of you guys out Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time in Ralph's Man Cave.